Hello, once again, Internet. It is I, Olin, from what I'm listening to. Yesterday was Record Store Day, a glorious day, a day where we can all go to the record store and buy so much music and then the next day regret it a lot because we spent a lot of money. But then we hear the music we bought and we say, it was worth it. I'm here today to show you the stuff that I got at Record Store Day. It was a great time, such a cool time. My girlfriend and I went to Amoeba in San Francisco and it was, it was <laughs> mental, just packed with people. I had to work at three, so unfortunately I couldn't stay longer, but that might have been for the best because I probably would have spent way more money than I need to. So, without further ado, let's dive into the bag of goodies. First thing on the list, The Replacements. This is their first album. Sorry, Ma, forgot to take out the trash. I love The Replacements to death. They are such a great band. I have Let It Be, I have Tim, and I have Please To Meet Me. That's more of their later stuff. This is their very first album when they were still trying to establish their sound. So this is a more punk rock sounding album as opposed to the later stuff, which is a lot more refined, a lot more college rock but I got this because my English teacher is a huge fan of these guys, and he said you should absolutely listen to the first album, so I picked this up. This was one that I've been meaning to get, but it's super expensive. It's $12.99, but I thought it was worth it. It has 31 songs on here, so I've been listening to this one like crazy, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> Speaking of the replacements, I got their new book, Trouble Boys. This is actually an interesting edition of the book. So the book just came out a couple weeks ago, and because of that, it's really expensive. And in fact, a new edition at Amoeba was, I think, $27.99, so that would probably make it like $30 bucks plus tax. This was $4.99, and when I saw this, I thought, that's that is way too good to be true. I mean, and it's paperback. The other edition was hard copy, and this is used. So I was like, that, there's no way it could be $4.99. So I picked it up. I was like, okay, I really want to read this book. And while I was waiting in line, I looked in the back cover, and it says, uncorrected proofs. These pages have not been copy edited and might change before the book is printed. So this is an edition. This is a non-finalized edition of the book. And initially I was like, I, I wasn't sure if I actually wanted this because I wasn't sure if I was either going to miss out on some things or if, if there were going to be some grammatical errors. But then I thought it's actually kind of cool in the end. I mean, it's really punk rock just to own an early edition of this. So here we have it, Troubled Boys. I'm really excited to read this book when I'm done. Not having to read stuff for school, I'm going to dive deep into this book. Next up, this is an album by a band called Foxing. I don't know much about this band, but a good friend of mine saw these guys live and he loves them. It's like his favorite band ever. And initially I was looking for their very first album. This is their second album, but they didn't have it. And I just decided to get it anyways because I've been meaning to check these guys out. My friend says they're amazing. He just, he loved their show. I'm looking forward to hearing this. I don't know anything about it, so it should be cool. This is one that I've actually heard before and I used to own digitally, but I decided to get it physically. This is Kaki King. She is an absolutely phenomenal guitarist. I fell for her when I saw the movie August Rush. She has, I think, two or three songs on there. Just incredible, incredible guitar work. I own her first two records, which are just more her doing slap guitar finger style. I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just incredible guitar work. This one is different. She gets actually a full band and takes a more post-rock approach. So songs like Until We Felt Red, which is the name of the album, Yellow Cake and Jessica are all kind of post-rocky sounding. It was a, a bit jarring to hear compared to the first albums, but now that I know more about post-rock after hearing other bands like Mogwai and Explosions in the Sky, I fell more in love with this. I appreciate this album a lot more, so I figured I had to own it, and it was only $2.99, so here, that's what we got. This 
this next one was a bit of an impulse buy. I wasn't planning on getting it, but this is Wall of Voodoo. This is their album, uh, Call of the West. I'm on a Mexican radio. I'm on a Mexican radio. I only got this because while we were driving over there, we were listening to Mexican radio, and I forgot how incredibly awesome that song is. It's so weird, but it's so cool. I don't know anything else by this band, probably just because they're a one-hit wonder band, but I figured I'd just check it out because it was only $4.99 and it's 80 stuff, so I mean, it could be really shitty or it could be incredible. I I'm not entirely sure, but either way, I'm really excited about this. These guys are really cool. The next one is an album by a band called TV on the Radio. I don't really know anything about these guys. I only bought this because I heard a cover of a Daniel Johnston song they did called Walking the Cow, and I really enjoyed it, and I love Daniel Johnston, he is just incredible, I love his work. And these guys did a really good job with Walking the Cow, so I decided I really wanted to look deeper into these guys, and I found this album, it was only $2.99, Return to Cookie Mountain. I liked that title, it, it, it just looked cool, I mean the cover's cool, the title's cool, they just seem like really cool guys, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what they have to offer on this one. Next up we have Horace Silver. I got this because I don't know too much about him. I've only heard maybe like one or two songs by him. I decided to get a best of. This is a volume two. I was kind of hoping they had like a volume one edition too because I would have gotten both of them, but uh, it, it should be pretty cool. Horace Silver is amazing, so here we have it. Good jazz music. So after leaving Amoeba, they handed me off this bonus bag full of really cool stuff. And we have like a bumper sticker, we have a bag that says Merge Records on it, I think that's really cool. I have a bunch of posters for stuff, and in addition, they actually gave me some more music, which I love so much. Amongst the things in the swag bag, they gave me this 7-inch, it's Converse Rubber Tracks times Amoeba Music. I was literally just spinning this before I started recording. I only listened to the first side, and I think the song is Taste the Grey by Swift... Swiftums? I don't even know. I, I was really, I was really enjoying it. I really liked it, so, I mean, I I love when record stores give me free music. It, anybody gives me free music, no matter what it is, it's just, I appreciate it highly, so. It was really cool that they gave me this 7-inch, and I'm excited to hear the other side. I might end up buying stuff by the guys that are on this 7-inch. Speaking of compilations, Amoeba also gave me all of these compilations. So I have an anti-records false sampler, and that has stuff like Wilco, Dr. Dog, and Nico Case, which is really awesome. This label is amazing. I have a Network 30 Years of Music, and I don't know anything on here. Um, I'm just appreciative that it's free music and I could probably make some cool discoveries on here. And then Extra Mile Recordings, and this has Frank Turner, Against Me, Beans on Toast, and Failure, which was really cool. And in addition to that, I could enter a code in on their website and get even more songs, which I did, and I'm excited to have all that music. Finally, I have Just Pay and Rent, Amoeba Music Compilation Volume 2. I don't know a single thing on this album. This is just a bunch of random stuff, so it's sort of like the equivalent of your friend making you a mix CD of his or her favorite stuff and just handing it to you, except it's by Amoeba, and Amoeba is my, my love, so it's like my love giving me 
a compilation, a mix seating going here. This is stuff we like, so I'm pretty stoked about hearing all of these compilations. Okay, that does it for me. Thank you, Internet, for watching, and I really hope that you all had a wonderful record store day and you bought copious amounts of stuff. And with that being said, I will see you next time. for it. Wait for it. <clears throat> <coughs> okay, next up, this is... Let's try that again. Stupid noise.